Hey YouTube, what's going on, y'all? Cal here checking in with another video today. Today we got Lil Bucks. Oh, we got American Confidential. We got Lil Bucks jail calls that lead to Sandy Goon arrest. Let's go on and get into this video. Joining Patreon is a great way to help independent creators. Sign up for my Patreon or join the I need to make a Patreon on my damn self. Y'all don't know, I'm posted up on my on my other account. This one right here. My Young Kai account. Why? Because I did a reaction to... I did a music video reaction. And I guess the music video reaction was... Some kids... They was rapping, making a rap video, but they had iron in the video, so they put it as like child endangerment. So that's why I'm on this channel for a week. But it be uh, reaction videos that I do that uh, can't get uploaded. So I think I might make a Patreon. Nah, for sure. I think I'm gonna make a Patreon and just promote that for y'all. Cause y'all be asking me to react to certain people. And I'd be like, <clears throat> I want to. Like, I do. I want to. But every time I upload, it get blocked. So, I think I might do that. YouTube membership today to support the channel. In the heart of Philadelphia's Blumberg Projects, the Black Flag uh, Who is this? If it ain't an American Philly scoreboard, this your one shot, gang. American comp. Make it cold. With AC Pro, anyone can recharge their car's AC like a pro. Be a pro with AC Pro. Picture this. You're sitting at home alone watching YouTube videos, wondering why you can't find the motivation to do the thing. Confidential, he, he, he him. He's him. I can't deny it. He is. Bro, I told, I told y'all this when I first started reacting to him, bro. Like, he do shit unbiasedness. Like, bro. He really loved Philadelphia. I'm not going to just say Philadelphia. He really loved black people, bro. But he covered the city of Philadelphia. And it's like... He just want all this bullshit to end. And that's that's all I want, bro. I want the same thing. Not even just for my place, my area. But for all over. Because this shit is goofy. Like we harming each other for no apparent reason, but y'all got these white people that could walk through and do whatever the fuck they want to. They could buy up the buildings, kick y'all out, and y'all don't even get it. Y'all don't even get what's going on. Like, In February of 2024, Sonny Goon was arrested along with three others in a vehicle stop in Philadelphia. Three months later, in May, Sonny was out on bail along with the other three who were released and the charges were dropped. It doesn't say why in the court records, and I wanted to get this video out in a timely fashion. On June 12, 2024, an audio and video recorded call from a state correctional institution by the Pennsylvania Department of Corrections Investigations Division. This call was made on June 10th, two days earlier, 2024, by inmate Lil Bucks, who's currently housed at SCI Camp Hill. Bucks is currently incarcerated and serving a one and a half to three years for a violation of probation in a firearms case. Approximately seven minutes and 35 seconds into the Bucks video call, ARP Beasy enters the video call. Beasy is outside on the street. Lil Bucks then asks, where you at on the O? To which Beasy responds, we on the wood, we on 1600 wood. The police officer who wrote this report is familiar with the Overbrook section of Philadelphia being referred to as the O, located within the Overbrook neighborhood. The cops then give the address the three were in front of and confirmed it on Google Maps as the address in the video. I can't share it in this for privacy reasons. Approximately 11 minutes and 14 seconds into the video call, BZ, <coughs> Sonny Goon, and others. Bruh. Bruh. But this is shit that I don't be understanding, like... They tell y'all that these shits is recorded, bruh. Like, they literally tell y'all the phone call is being recorded. Like, don't that shit matter? Like, don't that shit matter, bruh? 
I'm not going to walk down on a nigga. I'm not going to peep the surveillance and still walk down on a nigga, draw a dog, up dog, and blow dog. When I see it's a camera right here, like, I'm just not going to do that. Like, my mindset ain't going to be, damn, let me go there and still blow dog anyway. I know it's a camera right there, and they telling me it's a camera right there. I can visibly see it's a camera right there. But see, I'm going to still blow dog anyway and then get mad when I get caught. I blew dog directly on camera, so I can't get mad about what the fuck transpired to that. And it's just niggas don't be thinking, bro. Niggas so quick to be on crash all the time. Fuck it, I got to go out a living legend. Mo, what? I'm not going out on my fucking living. I'm not going out on a crash dummy shit. That's one thing I'm not going to do. Like, my living legend going to be on some other shit, not on a crash dummy shit. You niggas be crash dummies, like, for no reason, though. Like, you don't got to be. Enter into an unknown vehicle where BZ is the driver and Sonny in the front passenger side. At 15 minutes and 30 seconds into the video call, Sonny is in control of the video and begins to show Bucks another phone that is showing a music video. Bucks comments that he can't see the phone and asks Sonny to move it so he could see the video better. Sonny then places the cell phone with the rap video playing on the center console of the vehicle. At this time, 210 Glock style semi-automatic handguns with black extended magazines were visible. One was tucked in between the console and the driver's side seat, and one was tucked in between the console they blessed that motherfucker. They already... and the passenger side seat, respectively. Upon seeing the firearms, Buck state, y'all niggas drawn, move the camera. Sonny then states, oh my fault, my fault, I didn't mean to show that shit on camera, and moves the camera away from the firearms. Prison officials provided this video call and image from the video to the Philadelphia Police Department for analysis. The detective who received the video from the prison officials is a sworn member of the PPD Gun Violence Reduction Task Force and has been a member of said task force since its inception in 2018. The detective has over 25 years of service with the Philadelphia Police Department and has made or participated in thousands of arrests for violations of Pennsylvania crimes. They go on to mention in the report that the detective is a graduate of the Delaware County Police Academy, the Philadelphia Police Academy, the U.S. Army Infantry School, the U.S. Air Force Security Forces Academy, the U.S. Air Force Combat Arms and Training Maintenance School. This detective was a military small arms repair instructor for five years and has 17 years of military experience, along with various other firearm related classes and certifications. The report mentions this to establish that the detective reviewing the footage knows guns and is accurately able to pick which guns are which through certain characteristics. The detective stated that the small lanyard loop presented on the bottom of the magazine well is a characteristic feature of the Glock 19X pistol. They are removable but are a standard feature from the factory. 18 minutes into the call, Sonny begins to exit the vehicle. Upon exiting the vehicle, Sonny is seen on camera placing one of the handguns that were previously shown into his waistband. Detectives note that when Sonny is seen outside after this, the outline of the handgun is visible through his shirt. Through investigations, authorities were able to determine that Sonny Goon was on the street, which is located in the city of Philadelphia. According to detectives, Sonny does not possess a license to own a firearm. Therefore, this led to his arrest on July 10th, 2024, about a month after the video call. Well, yeah, they be snatching this away, bro. They be on some rare shirt. Yeah, I didn't even, I even know you came home, bro. Yeah, I just came home like two months ago. So he just came home like, no, he been came home. He came home right before I got booked. Yeah, one came home. He bro, got, bro, he got booked in a line. I got booked, yeah, he, he got booked, he, he got, got booked. booked. No, he got booked, he got booked. Go scared him got booked. Oh, yeah. Then my man Rail got <laughs> booked, like then I got booked. Yeah. Then, then Twaz got booked, but oh, yeah, then, then, booked then, the same time. Everybody got, got booked, booked, bro. Like, in the, in, in the last in the last two weeks, we all got booked, bro. <laughs> so, like, what y'all be doing in there? Like, y'all be doing push-ups and shit? Like, no, like, yeah, what is this? Sonny Goon getting booked comes in a long string of arrests of CCK members, including the ticket Lil Bucks, who we mentioned earlier in the video. And nigga play dead, broke him three more to his head. And nigga trip and fell, I guess he tripped over his leg. My five sisters go through bricks, so why you hiding in that crib? He paid these thousand for that fit, we still gonna paint that shit red. Park around the corner, then we hopping out the way. Them bullets, how the pills, they had his body, how the shit. Sonny, as I also mentioned, was booked earlier this year. The guys can't seem to stay out of jail. 
debts because they are involved in a volatile war that threatens their life and unfortunately has taken some of their friends and even Sonny Goon's own brother. Zaire Stafford was getting off his shift at work when he was approached at 29th and Clearfield and gunned down. Zaire Abuga was mocked heavily and consistently after his death, which means one of two things. Abuga? That's, so I didn't know, bro, that's crazy as shit, bro. If you know, you know. Uga was mocked heavily and consistently after his death, which means one of two things. Either Booga or one of his brothers was a major factor in his war. Hey, Skrilla. Skrilla. Bro, you got the opportunity to really go up in this music shit. Like, fuck them niggas. Bro, the shit that you doing, bro, you can be on some young thug shit, like really make millions in this shit, like the fashion and all that shit, bro. Stop involving me your shit and shit that don't got nothing to do with you. Like, stop doing that shit, bro. Like, nigga ain't telling you, bro. You, them niggas the ticket, but my nigga, you could really be on some young thug shit, like fashion, fashion shows. You know what I mean? Nigga really put the... Nigga, a fashion designer really take a good eye on you and put you somewhere you need to be. Mo, stop tricking off your position trying to be in the streets, bruh. You involved in your shit that got nothing to do with you, bruh. It's cool, man. It's cool, man. Cool with a nigga. Like, it's nothing wrong with that, bruh. But don't involve yourself in their street politics. That's when shit started getting wacky and now it's like, all right, now... We gon' we gonna smash on you too then. Nigga don't wanna do it to you though. Like a nigga don't wanna do it, but it's like you keep involving your shit you keep involving yourself in this shit. So that's why I be like, bro, when I be seeing niggas that's like that's cool with an artist or cool with a neighborhood, just be cool with them. Like don't involve yourself in their politics, bro. Unless you willing to go there. If you willing to go there and say, damn, I'm willing to go there. But niggas just got to understand the opportunity that they got in front of them. Like, these niggas don't understand that shit. And that shit be making me so mad because I be seeing so many motherfuckers who wish they had that opportunity. They they working every day. It's niggas that record music every day trying to get that opportunity. And these niggas that, that get the opportunity, they be on crash out time. These niggas get the opportunity and they be dying. It's like, bruh. Niggas start getting paid for music, right? We working this hard to get paid for music. If I'm getting paid for music, I'm not going to then throw away my opportunity. Like, what the fuck am I working so hard for to just throw away my opportunity? What type of sense does that make? Like, we really got to be honest. We got to look in the mirror. Niggas, I know shit comes so fucking fast that we not even thinking about it, but it's like when you sit back and just look like, but I was just trying to figure this shit out. Now I'm getting paid for this shit. That's a step in the right direction. Covering so much of the carnage, having my ear to the streets, and just common sense leads me to pick up general patterns. One of those patterns being the way the ops troll Booga tells you that they are trying very hard to hurt someone's feelings. The barbecue sauce in showers. <laughs> I went to I went to Ooga Booga sauce. I bet y'all won't take that order. <laughs> you know what the Ooga Booga sauce is? You wanna know I won't take your order and get out my drive through? You don't got the Ooga Booga? You wanna get out my drive through? Looking for an easy way to get that LSC next to your business? See, that's the crazy part. Like, I think he worked at McDonald's, so I don't know if this is the McDonald's that he worked at. But it's like, you could tell that she on some, like, bro, y'all niggas on some fuck shit. Like, go ahead about your business. But like I said, bro, nigga, stop putting yourself in this shit. Like, this name, say hello to Taylor Brand. Everybody just not go to on no, nigga ain't on no play shit. Like, nigga not on no play shit. Niggas wouldn't have crashed out about they dead relatives, about they dead friends, about they dead family. Like, nigga is not about to play. And it's not just for Skrillers. Anybody that got something to do, like, bro, if you on the outskirts, bro, just play the outskirts, bro. Because I'm sure if the roles are diverse and you was in some war or something like that, niggas not going to ride for you like that, bro. Niggas don't understand that shit. When you in them jail cells or you in the hospital, 
and you gotta lay low and you gotta just sit down, that's when you got time to reflect. Like, bro, niggas ain't really riding for me how I think they was. Like, I'm putting myself on the line, and this, the niggas that you putting yourself on the line for, they not doing the same thing for you. They not, they not gonna risk it all for you, bro. I just wish niggas learned that shit. Like, stop throwing your life away for fuck niggas, bro. All them niggas die from the inside, just fucking with the heat. I call home, her brother died, I'm like, okay, whatever. Okay. We got that job again this time, I know we gon' complete the job He clocked out from McDonald's and really got him fried Aye. You can't be speaking on the bars as high as brother died Unlock the door, we bust that block, we come from every side Most likely because that specific person caused the ops a lot of pain themselves And so the cycle continues On July 12th of this year, the Philadelphia Inquirer published an article they took a look at the unbelievably senseless and tragic events that unfolded on that holiday. The article starts by describing how the fateful 4th of July in Concession went down. Maurice Kwan, a 19-year-old known for organizing large and lively parties across Philadelphia, was undeterred by warnings from friends about the potential dangers of hosting his 4th of July event in Concession. Kwan's gatherings typically attracted hundreds of kids to parks and small venues where they danced and enjoyed music late into the night. The Independence Day celebration, which he spent weeks promoting, was initially set for North Philadelphia. However, at the last minute, Kwan decided to move it to his family member's neighborhood in Southwest Philadelphia. He instructed attendees to meet at the park behind Francis Myers Rec at 7 p.m. Despite friends cautioning him about potential trouble, Highlighting the area's recent history of gang feuds, Quan remained resolute. His best friend, Raheem Flynn, noted Quan's stubbornness regarding his parties and his confidence in the safety of his own home turf, where his family resided. Everything will be fine, Flynn recalled Quan, assuring them. As the party wound down around 11.30 p.m. and attendees began to disperse, the night took a tragic turn. A gunman and a white Toyota Highlander drove up and unleashed 17 shots into the remaining crowd. Screams pierced the night as terrified teens scrambled for cover and the joyful celebration turned into a nightmare. Nine people ages 14 to 24 were shot, including Quan, who was struck in his face. His cousins ran to his side as he lay on the pavement and wrapped a shirt around his head, crying for him to stay with them as police rushed to the scene. How can such an innocent gathering turn into a mass shooting incident? The article goes on to explain the neighborhood and possible motives and even speculates on the shooters. Police recover what they believe was the shooter's getaway car in Lansdowne with bullet casings scattered throughout the vehicle. Recovered vehicles used in these type of crimes are usually the beginning of a successful investigation. I talked about Sonny Goon's arrest in the beginning of this video. A Reddit thread posted a few days after Sonny's arrest made the claim that, quote, Sonny Goon CCK was arrested with one of the guns that was used in the July 4th mass shooting that left one dead, unquote. I want to make this very clear that I have no way of confirming this as the police report I obtained doesn't mention this, but that doesn't confirm or deny anything. But me, myself, I would take this with a grain of salt until I can verify. Getting back to the Inquirer article, it went on to say that it's not clear who was responsible for the shooting, but after the gunfire, attention soon turned to local gangs. The article went on to say that across Philadelphia, there are dozens of cliques, mostly young men affiliated with specific blocks. In West Philly, there's 524 from 52nd to 54th Streets in King Sessings. There's 39th Street from 39th and Poplar in Mantua. There's a crew at 61st and Jefferson Streets, the article states. Most groups who see themselves more as family than gangs come and go as quickly as their members, often lost to a cycle of gun violence and prisons. As memberships dip, some crews form alliances, both for manpower and protection, and to feature each other in drill rap music. 
One such alliance has dubbed itself CCK, an acronym for a trio of gangs from West and South Philly that formed in late 2021, according to law enforcement sources. The name stands for Campers or 0 to the 4 from 60th to 64th Streets, the Clappers or 56th Street slash Christie Rec Center in West Philadelphia, and the Clappers with a K from 7th Street in South Philadelphia. For years, the groups within CCK have feuded with the Young Bag Chasers or YBC from Mantua, as well as Nineside, a group from 59th and King Sessing that affiliates with Francis Myers Rec Center. What gave rise to the rivalries is not completely clear but the back and forth has led to dozens of shootings and homicides in the last four years, many involving bystanders. Retaliation always, between always, CCK hey, and- It's always bystanders, bro. Like it's always, niggas don't even be hitting their men. That's what I'm saying, bro. Bro, if you niggas scared to die, bro, say that. If you scared to hop out that V and walk down on feet, say that. If you scared of, of retaliation, a nigga blowing a pistol back at you, bruh, say that. Y'all niggas, niggas be hitting from the car, hitting in the crowds. Y'all be missing y'all man from a long shot. It's always the innocent that's getting hit, bruh. Nigga that don't got nothing to do with nothing. A child that ain't got nothing to do with nothing. A female that ain't got nothing to do with nothing. A, a random person that got nothing to do with nothing. And then y'all be claiming a body, and they be like, yeah, we just we yeah, we just came through that joint and just dropped buckets. How you just drop buckets and you ain't even hit nobody that was a, a member? You didn't even hit a member. You don't get cool points for that shit. Like, you don't. That shit never been fly. Like, you ain't, you don't never get cool points for that. That shit was never fly to be like, yeah, man, we just up the score. How the fuck you up the score and you hit a random person? We hit a nigga mother. We hit a toddler. We hit a fucking kid. Yeah, we up the score though, bro. We came through that joint and dropped buckets, man. Shh, they know our name. They know our work. Bro, you hit a grandmother. You hit a grandfather. Like, a regular civilian. If you niggas scared to hop out them cars, just say that, bro. Like, you niggas. Just say that, yeah, we value life. If you scared to get your ass spanked because a nigga might retaliate, then just say that. You won't ever walk down on your man. Y'all niggas, man, I ain't even gonna. Y'all niggas scared to walk down? Niggas scared to walk down, man. Niggas, is, niggas ain't even walk down gang, man. Just gotta start learning how to walk down, walk down on feet, man. And it is what it is. We're gonna live with the consequences. Hey, if I die going on this drill, hey, I die going on this drill. That's why I respect the nigga, uh, the nigga Lil Jeff. Even though he went out, even though he went out, he went out as a man. That's as a man. He wasn't on no scary bitch shit. He knew what come with this shit. He knew what come with this shit. Man, I'm sliding, but I'm on feet, though. I'm sliding, but I'm on feet, though. I'm going to chase this nigga down. Still blowing my pistol. I'm going to chase his ass down. Hey, if a nigga, if, if something happened in this, in, this, in this situation, it happens. You niggas just be, you niggas don't really be men. But y'all keep claiming, yeah, we men, bro. We, we, we gangsters, bro. Shit ain't never been cool, bro. We gonna walk down on feet and whatever happens, we gonna live with whatever the results is. And Nineside, which is aligned with YBC, had been heating up for the last two months, particularly after a young man named Quadir Cheeks was shot and killed in May at 55th and Baltimore Aves, sources said. Cheeks, 22, known as Squa, was friends with members of CCK, and the crew wanted revenge for his death. 
His killing remains unsolved, but CCK blamed Nine Side for the shooting, sources said, after its members immediately mocked Cheeks online and sent cruel messages to his family. They say I promote bombs, but I'm just trying to save the streets. How I'm going to increase the peace, I can't even leave without my heat. Clock came out and cracked like, fuck you doing? We in the biggest beast, hit me with that. Philadelphia police investigating the city's latest homicide this morning. NBC 10 in West Philly overnight, where a man was shot and killed outside of a Chinese takeout restaurant. This is Baltimore Avenue near 55th Street. Investigators were called here shortly after 11 o'clock last night. They have not said anything about what may have led up to the shooting. So far, no arrests. Mo, another thing, like, another thing, bruh. We destroy our whole future. Like, you don't never see no white kids acting like this. Yeah, they got mad shoes and shit like that, but on a on a everyday basis, bro, we destroy ourselves every day. Like this shit is a nonstop thing every day, bro. That's the reason why the white people look at us how they look at us. Like, bro, you niggas is real deal animals, bro. Like they look at us like we animals, mo. And the whole T is like, you'll never see them going through. Like they ain't never going through this, bro. We watch the news, bro. We don't watch the news and see white people out this junk. War, 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 war. You got the white people in the trenches sliding on the black people. But you will never see the white person dealing with another white person on gangster time. That shit need to start unlocking y'all mind, bro. Everybody not your enemy. Y'all got to stop looking at everybody like an enemy. And if you really got to look at somebody that look like you as an enemy, bro, go ahead, get the fuck on. Like, you don't need to be here. Go wherever you need to go. Like, you need to, hey, go on and lock this nigga up right now. Like, because you a threat. Like, you real deal. Like, Holmes, get your bitch ass on somewhere because nigga not on that. Like y'all just gotta look at y'all gotta look at this shit from the grand scheme of things, bro. Like nigga don't niggas don't be on that shit. Like nigga be trying to enjoy themselves. Like when I was motherfucking like sixteen, nigga wasn't on gangster time. Like nigga was trying to enjoy itself. Nigga was on gangster time, but a nigga really trying to enjoy itself. Like, I'm not, I'm, like, really? I'm protecting everybody around me. That's where the gangster shit come in at. I'm protecting everybody around me. Ain't nobody gonna play with us. But we here to have an amazing time. We ain't here to start no trouble or none of that shit. We, have a, we here to have an amazing time. Gangster, we here to have an amazing time. These niggas, like, bro... It's not even just, like, even back then, like, man, niggas just wanted to be on gangster time, bro. And I'm like, fool, nigga not on that. Like, whatever you want, bro, a nigga gonna hurt you out here. But a nigga don't want to hurt you, though. Nigga don't want to hurt you. But we will. And we gonna deal with whatever the repercussions is. Like, we gonna deal with it. But we don't want to. We not trying to be on no gangster time. We ain't trying to stop the fun. We ain't trying to stop no parties. We ain't trying to do none of that. We trying to have a good time. Y'all trying to have a good time. Let's just have a good time. But it's when the niggas is overly gangster. Like, nigga, you need a hug, bro? Like, you need a nigga to tell you that I love you? Like, you're not getting enough love? That's what it is? That's where this energy come from? You're not getting enough love? Because if you need a nigga to tell you I love you, a nigga going to say I love you, bro. I'm not your enemy. I'm not I'm not the reason why we at war. We not at war over nothing, bro. This shit ain't got nothing to do with nothing, bro. Let's hit, we here to make money and live forever. Like, this, let's make something out of ourselves. Like, stop looking at a motherfucker like they the enemy. Everybody not out to get you, bro. Because of what happened in your household. Like, you carrying luggage about some shit that happened in your household that... Nigga, we, I don't live, live in the house with you. Nigga, I don't know what the fuck you're going through. 
Like, nigga don't even know what you're going through. Like, nigga, these young niggas, bro, and these older niggas, bro, be carrying baggage for years. Mother issues, father issues, shit that's been going on, molestation. Like, they be carrying this shit like, I got to be an animal all the time. Nigga ain't going to never play with us, bro. It's going down. The smallest thing could happen, and a nigga going to flash out, and it's like, bro, Nigga said, excuse me, bro, but you still on gangster time. Like, nigga, nigga respectfully bow out, and you still on gangster time. Like, fool. Like, that's what make you niggas start looking like suckers. Like, Not on shit. I guess it's the video right here. Do you own your own home in Maryland but still rent your electricity? For a limited time only, homeowners in specific zip codes. Man, we all be seeing them niggas with the hoods tied up, man. That the shit got. Them type of niggas make you whip dog out. Like, just whip dog out. Just have dog out. You walk and just whip dog out. Like, like what the fuck? You got that hood tied up. Then, you know, they got the motherfucking, uh, they be having the COVID mask on. Like, homie, what the fuck you on, bro? Like, why you covering up your face? Like, nigga. And they about to leave they man. Like, Ain't got no friends, we EBK. Play with us, then BTA. I ain't giving out no pass. Shoot his face, ECCK. Nine that, not a fucking shooter. I be taking niggas shit, not a fucking looter. Lil Boo go on my mind tonight, I guess we going bowling. My first car was a tinted black truck, bro, I stole. CCK, he CCK, you chasing down. Gummy fall, you shoot the ground. Cock it back, then shoot again. Just in case them bitches jam, them bitches jam, you don't stop. Cock it back, then fix the nigga. It's a new day, we smoke Q-U-A yeah. A nigga touch my dog, I'm in that van, same day same huh. Nigga day. lost three and dropped the tape, no way yeah. Bitch, huh. get that Lolo, grab that stool, then we coming Another op just died, this that 5500 huh. He was dissing on my brother, he a dummy We pop out cuss with niggas lag, chasing while they run Last nigga was a lesson, we gave him 20 plus And they ain't even see that shit coming, but bet they know it's us Five got caught on Baltimore, he never got to meet the bitch I'm the face of fully drilled, the other side rappers don't even got no ring. Things escalated even more on July 2nd when a key member of Nine Side who goes by the name Nine Side Ray released a song, Dis and Qua. Two days later, Maurice Quine's July 4th block party was held near where several Nine Side members live and often hang out, was shot up. It wasn't clear whether anyone from Nine Side was even on a block that night or whether the bullets were even meant for them. Deputy Police Commissioner Frank Venor said that although investigators are aware of the feuding crews and were examining social media posts, he could not comment on specifics or... That's why a nigga don't be hanging on no motherfucking blocks, bruh. At a certain age, though, like at a certain age, bruh, that shit get goofy, like... I understand the men out there and all that shit, but nigga, I'm not trying to hang out with all niggas, bro. Like, nigga, not trying to hang out with all niggas, bro. Like, I'm not, bro. I'm not trying to stand outside. It's hot as shit outside, bro. Niggas be outside because they don't got nowhere to go. That's what it be, like. That's what it be. 
niggas be real live outside because they don't have nowhere to go. Like, yeah, we can't bring people over, bro. When I was a kid, bro, I'm talking like I'm old as shit. Like, but like, nah, when I was a young nigga, bro, man, me and my men was always at my spot, bro. My spot was always the spot. Like, my folks always was like, yeah, come on, man. Anybody come in this joint, like, niggas, bitches, at least y'all in the crib, y'all safe. Like, a nigga ain't got to be outside. Like, that's what I'm saying. A nigga don't have to be. And a lot of these kids out here don't got to be outside. Like, they got mothers that are, shit, bring your friends in here. Y'all cool in here? Y'all don't got to run the streets, bro. Y'all ain't got to do no shit that y'all don't want to do. Like, y'all don't have to be outside, like. But a lot of these niggas gotta be out there. Like, that's the shit that be going... That's that's the wildest shit, bro. Man, when I was a young nigga, bro, shit, nigga, taking shit down. Like, bringing bitches over, fucking the shit out there. I'm like, man, young nigga shit. But nigga was doing that shit in a nigga crib. Like, these type niggas, bro. Yeah, niggas just... I mean, not even just these type niggas, because I know niggas like that, like... Nigga just wanna be outside. Like nigga just enjoy being outside, man. I, it's too hot, bro. At a certain at a certain point in life, bro, it's either too hot or it's too cold. Be snowing and shit. I'm not trying to stand outside. It's cold as shit, nigga. Fucking six fucking layers on, gloves on, rubbing their hands and shit. Fucking snot coming down their nose. Motherfucking hands cold, feet cold. Like nigga ain't trying to live like that, bro. Oh, nigga ain't trying to live where it's like, man, we standing outside all day. Niggas a hundred and something degrees outside. Nigga sweating as soon as you walk outside because the the humility. Like, nigga ain't trying to live like that, bruh. Throw on some AC. Bring some 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 cool niggas over, some cool females over, and just kick it. Or find you a little situation, a little, a little female, and just kick it with her. I got to stop doing this goofy shit. Like, some of this shit just be goofy confirm the names of the groups. Detectives are still working to determine a motive for the July 4th shooting, he said. Still, social media users, particularly members of Nine Side, immediately blamed CCK for the crime. Within hours, Nine Side Re posted to his Instagram story saying, the shooting and Quan's death were not, quote, get back because he was not affiliated with Nine Side, talking about Quan. He apologized and said he regretted letting young people party on their block given the risk of shootings. We send our- Y'all niggas don't hold no rank though, bro. Y'all can't tell a nigga what they can and can't do. Y'all can't tell a nigga, hey, we can't, y'all can't party over here. Y'all y'all don't own shit over here. Like people gotta stop thinking that they, that they run shit. Like the police come over this junk, y'all bitch ass niggas get them moving. Niggas be claiming like they so gangster, bro. As soon as the police pull up on this joint, everybody skedaddle. I ain't never seen one nigga go to war with the police, bro, on gangster time. I never seen it. I never seen the police said move and the nigga didn't move. I've never seen it. I've never seen it. i never seen where a nigga said, bro, get the fuck off the block right now and police bless this joint. Niggas say, police pull up on that joint say, man, y'all get the fuck off the block right now. I ain't never see one nigga that said, man, I ain't moving. Fuck that. I ain't never see. I mean, you got niggas that say that, but them niggas, you see the police make them niggas move or them niggas going in the motherfucking cuffs. You ain't never see a nigga say, man, I ain't going nowhere. Smack the shit out of the police. Get rumbling. Woo, woo, woo. Draw a dog. Bust the police. You ain't never see nobody play gangster like that. That's my issue. That's the only issue I got, bro. If you're going to play gangster, bro, play gangster. Play gangster. That's what I've been saying this whole video, nigga. If y'all niggas, and then I'm talking about all over, bro. I don't give a fuck where you live at. Louisiana, New York, Kentucky, D.C., Maryland, motherfucking Philadelphia. Like, bro, I don't give a fuck where you live at, bro. Play gangster, bro. If you a gangster, play gangster, bro. Go out like a gangster. Nigga with authority come out. Y'all niggas don't do nothing, bro. The rental office people come in that joint. Y'all niggas can't even scream loud enough, bro. Rental office gonna kick y'all ass out. Y'all don't act gangster with nobody that got the authority. 
Nobody. I don't play that gangster shit with nobody, bro. Like that shit just be the weirdest shit. I be like, I be seeing all the, I be seeing all these fake gangsters niggas. I'm like, bro, police come on this joint right now. Tell y'all get the fuck out, get the fuck, or they gonna make y'all get the fuck. But y'all don't come out this joint like, man, nigga ain't making me do nothing. Nigga had to, woo woo woo, man, we gonna be the rumbling. Nigga don't be on that type of time, fool. Niggas gonna be on that type of time, bro. Like, they gonna be gangster, bro. Niggas gonna be gangster. They gonna be on Malcolm X time. Like, we gonna, we gonna send this bitch up. Like, it is what it is. And we gonna live with the results. Nigga gonna smash me head first, but I went out like how I went out. Nigga just gotta live like that, though. Like, if not, stop pump faking. Our condolences to the youngin' who died, though, he wrote. We take responsibility for even letting kids on our block. Later in the article, they go on to say that Maurice Kwan's death in many ways underscores the fragility of teen life in Philadelphia, particularly in neighborhoods where kids crave safe spaces to hang out and be themselves, but feel as if there are none. In Southwest Philly, the two largest and that, recreation- And that'd be the wildest shit, like, bro, that'd be the wildest shit, like, you got the older, you got the older teens or the older adults, young adults, making this shit hot to where the young kids can't even post up and just be safe in their environment. Like we got, we got walk on eggshells and all this extra shit because niggas feel like, man, shit, we started some shit now. Niggas come spend this joint on a daily basis now. The kids can even come outside and play. Or now they just looking at Instagrams and shit like that. Like, who that little kid right there? Or who that? Or he from there? Who? 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 This shit been going on for generations, bro. Niggas been on Facebook. Yeah, man. Oh, I see that nigga in them pictures. Oh, yeah, he from over there. He be with them niggas. Now the nigga come spin that joint. Ain't nobody outside but the nigga that was in the picture. He not even a part of nothing, bro. He just lived where he from. Like he just lived there. But he don't bang, he not out there joint spinning, he ain't on he ain't out that joint on gangster time. I, bro, I seen that shit with my own eyes. I seen a nigga who was, I seen a, a, a million motherfuckers that don't be on nothing. But they from where they from, though. They not gangster, they not on no gangster time. They from where they from. And niggas always get the easiest man. Like, oh, we got him right there. And it's like, bro. You don't get no cool points for hitting at a nigga or doing something to a nigga that ain't on nothing. Centers, King Sassing Wreck and Francis Myers are indefinitely closed as they undergo much needed renovations. And while Police Commissioner Kevin Bethel has vowed to crack niggas, down on. Hey, niggas ain't going to no wreck either, though. Like, let's, let's get that clear. Like, these motherfuckers, these kids be having nothing but opportunity in front of them. Shit like that. Nigga ain't going to no wreck, bro. I'm telling you, nigga's not going to no wreck, bro. Nigga ain't going to no wreck. Nigga ain't playing no football. Nigga ain't playing no basketball. Nigga ain't trying to do none of that. You got the niggas that still hooping and all that shit. You got the niggas still playing football and all that. But nigga don't want to go. Nigga's not going there, bro. Niggas just want to be outside all day. That's all niggas is on. Niggas is all on standing outside. Front line. That's all niggas want to do is front line. They think they gonna miss something, niggas. I remember back in the day. Y'all remember like back in the day, niggas used to take like them uh them AAU tournament trips like out the state. Nigga might go. Nigga might go to Missouri, and you from the West Coast, or you might go to New York, and you from the West Coast, or you might go to. You might go to motherfucking Connecticut, but you from Midwest. Like, you might, you going somewhere far. Niggas be real live on them trips. Like, man, I can't wait to go back home. Like, you don't want to enjoy this new environment, bro? Like, yo, what? Uh, yo, what, uh, motherfucking enjoy where we at, bro? Take in where we at? Nah, man. I gotta go back. I messed the men. I gotta get back on that hood shit. Like this shit boring. Woo woo. 
on pop-up parties like Quine's, saying their unstructured nature and large crowds draws violence. Others say the answer also lies in community investment. Almost all of Philadelphia's homicides are gun-related. Shootings made up 89% of Philly's homicides last year and 91% of the homicides so far this year. As more and more of the shooters and perpetrators of these despicable acts are arrested and face the judicial system, the overall murder rate in Philadelphia continues to fall, down 39% from this time last year. I'm in my comfy, cozy cardigan because it's therapy day today, and I've actually really come to look. Our top story this morning, we have had a deadly shooting. Eight people were shot, and we know that one of them has died. Many of these were young people. Now, this comes exactly a year after another mass shooting happening in King Sessing, killing five people. Now, Hank is live at the scene in Southwest. Yeah. And you know the sad, you know the saddest part is, like, and I'm going to stop, like, stopping this shit because it's like, bro, this shit. 45 minutes, I've been recording 45 minutes and a 20 minute video is crazy. But the news people that come on and like do the local news, bro, they not even from the areas that they're like they doing the news for. Like, you know, y'all ever noticed that, bro? They not even from, they not even from Pennsylvania. They went to school in Pennsylvania or they travel for work. Like, bro, these niggas is not from Pennsylvania, bro. And it'd be the saddest part because it's like, bro, y'all, you know, y'all could be doing these jobs and shit, right? That's just, no, and I'll be saying this shit, and I'll be like, damn, you know, these white people, like, they, whenever these events go down, like, they pull up on a block, you know, do their little job or whatever. Don't nobody say nothing to them. Where's all the gangsters? Where all the gangsters that be running niggas off the block? Y'all don't say nothing to these niggas. Y'all don't say nothing to a white person walking down the street. None of that shit. Where's, that's what I'm saying. Like, where's the gangsters at? Like, you only gangster when it comes to a black person? Yeah, so, I mean, there was a, apparently a ton of lead flying through the air down here last night at Concessing in 60. At this, I'm just trying to figure out, maybe doing my own bit of police work, there seem to be two bullet holes in this particular Mazda right here. Uh, it could be two hits. Uh, it could be one going in one window, going out the other. Police are still trying to match it together, guys. But listen, uh, eight people are hit. One of them killed. Three of them are juveniles uh, down here, transported to several different area hospitals. It happened about 11.30 last night. Uh, police say, again, here near the intersection, section of a 60th and concessing as it goes down towards Salford Street and Philly Police uh, Inspector Capana Masakoy uh, says that officers realized it was happening when one patrol officer found a person shot in the middle of concessing. It is very alarming and especially when we had officers in the area uh, to, to try to prevent anything like this from happening and it's still happening. So, so we, we take it very seriously and find it very, very alarming. Sure, and again, it's one person dead from eight shot, five adults, three juveniles. Police have not released any identities. Several crowds had gathered out here uh, at the corner. Police say that when they got here, they had to be broken up uh, at a certain point. I did speak with one woman uh, who you'll hear from in about a half hour. I uh, just now spoke with her who said she just didn't understand how firecrackers, fireworks could explode into gunfire. Maybe that's some clue as to how it all got started. Police did tell us that there were cookouts happening out here as there were everywhere else in the city on the 4th of July. They said they didn't distinctly know of any parties going on. Uh, so a lot of police work to be done here, guys. And police will be out here gathering video throughout the day. Count on that. Guys? All right, Hank, such a sad situation. Thank you for that update. Yeah. I'm going to leave it there for now. Thanks for watching American Confidential. And until next time, be safe.